everybody. Welcome to Draw Some. Welcome to the very first Draw Some of the year 2021. And like I told you in previous, like last year, <laughs> that sounds so funny. Last year, it's only been a few days. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff. And this is the book that I've chosen. It is an Arteza 8x8 sketchbook. And it has really, really great paper. It's just like the sketchbook tour I did uh, the last video of last year. And the paper is exactly the same. It's just bigger. And what I do like about uh, being able to work in this book is the fact that it'll be able to handle watercolors, acrylics, just pretty much anything I throw at it. Even like soft pastels, oil pastels. So I'll be able to do pretty much anything I want to in this book and I won't be um, you know hindered by the paper like I was in my last book so we're gonna be able to do a lot more really cool stuff so today being the first draw some of the year our very first prompt uh, that Jen and I came up with was skiing so being this winter you know everybody's you know there's a lot of snow out in places, and some people do enjoy the outdoor sport. I, for one, have never skied in my life. <laughs> but I did find a really nice picture on Google that I'm going to go ahead and sketch out. And I'll go through my sketching process, and then I think I'm going to watercolor. So, uh, yeah. So, here we go. Um, gentleman is coming down a slope. He's got his knees bent, so there's going to be a little bit of foreshortening. So that's something that we didn't learn last year. We did learn a lot about light and perspective and things like that. Perspective being a part of foreshortening. So what we, <laughs> you'll understand when I get to it. Um, if you've never heard of foreshortening, it's instead of a legs looking like legs, like here's your feet. Um, you don't have them, you don't see the thigh because this part would be actually behind the knee. So you're not going to see all of it. You're going to see just portion of it. And that would be considered foreshortening. So even if you think it might not look right, when everything is said and done, it's right. Just keep that, keep that in mind. So his head is a down lower between his shoulders um, so you're not going to see any neck per se his one shoulder is up a little bit higher and his uh, elbow is kind of coming out and then comes down so again it's foreshortening because his hand is up here and you don't see much of his uh, forearm uh, he's got a very puffy jacket on which would make sense being he's in the snow um, let's see let's get this helmet that he has on which I would think that's a good idea to have a helmet on <laughs> and let's see he's got this shoulder coming down here and it comes down more straight, I think. But again, we're not seeing the entire forearm because he has his glove here. And you're seeing the top of his uh, ski pole. And even that is foreshortened. It's actually going backwards, so it's going to look shorter. Instead of it, when it's standing upright, it would look longer. And it has like these little funky... things around it. I don't know what they're called. Um, we're just putting in our basic shapes. We're not going to get into a lot of the detail just, just yet. So, we just want to get 
some of these little basic shapes. And you know, we're not we're not going for a perfect anatomy here because he is in motion and you are looking at him from a very odd angle, I think. So you're not going to be able to get perfect anatomy when it's when it comes to something like this. And then from his chin, his jacket comes down around his waist this way. And again, it's kind of puffy. So we're just going to indicate the puffiness. And he's got all these little, I mean, it's a very colorful jacket <laughs> to say the least. It's got a lot of, uh, bits and pieces that are different colors so and then it's got pockets and you can see both His elbow is a little bit more rounded here. And we're going to make sure that this visor, his goggles, is um, a, you know very pronounced because they're very shiny. It's almost like that's the focal point is almost like the goggles in the picture and then from here this is where the foreshortening comes in it's going to get kind of strange looking and then here's a knee and his uh, snow pants like this and then we've got his boot. And then the ski. And again, because there's lots of snow um, kind of flying around. Now this one, you see, this is his knee coming up in front of this leg here. So this leg, this is up. This one is straightened out, so his foot's going to come down lower. So his other boot looks like this. And then you can actually see more of the ski. So, there. This is a definite. You see, there's our skier. Now, we want to make sure that we get when we are doing this foreshortening that we get all the highlights correct so you don't misperceive where his knee is because that's what's going to make it look more foreshortened not to mention his foot is higher so we have this like that that is his knee and it comes up higher and everything in his pants area there we go now to get this face in right we want to make sure that we get that mouth in the right area
and that his chin comes down far enough to show that his head is kind of down. So, and then there's like writing on his helmet and all that kind of good stuff. And then this has got a lot of, um, let's go with that there. Here we go. Okay. Now, what's he skiing on, you ask? Well, there's a slope behind him. And it's kind of at an angle, which kind of denotes that he's going downhill. Duh. Um, <laughs> and then in, we've got a lot of shadow in here. And then there's like a misty snow kind of splattering. Um, and then highlights of like trees with snow in the background. So things like this. And it's very fuzzy. So we're going to make sure that we keep that feel of movement and that there's, you know, a speed going on here. So let's, and that there's wrinkles in his jacket. <laughs> And this is where you can start actually putting some uh, detail, more detail into it. There. Okay. So we've got our our sketch of our skier. So if you've been following along, which I hope you are, um, let's get some watercolor and we're gonna watercolor this. Um, I'll probably just speed through that. I'm not going to get into like the colors I'm using and all that. I mean, it's entirely up to you um, as to what you want to use color-wise pictures you want to use and all that so yeah but if you do follow along please make sure you uh post it on instagram with the hashtag draw some squad so that jen and i can take a look and you might get featured in next week's video so yeah let's go ahead and uh get some watercolors and some brushes and see what we can do so here we go
skier, skiing, down the mountain. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing it because this was actually a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, if you followed along, make sure that you post your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag Awesome Squad, and you'll get a chance to be in next week's video. And we will give you a shout out. If you have a YouTube channel, I will post it and in the description box so that everybody else can see your, your work too. So until next week, I sure do love you bunches. See y'all then. Bye.